how to get what I believe to be probably one of the cheapest, legit um, graduate degrees out there. Coming up. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. I know what you guys are probably thinking, why does this man always have such bad hair? Honestly, I haven't been able to get a retwist in many months because of the lockdowns and most people just aren't here in the islands of uh, Southern California. Southern California, wow, I am really off. Southern Thailand. I've never been to an island uh, off of uh, California. I'm pretty sure they're great, but um, just haven't been there, you know, since the water's so freezing in, uh, in Los Angeles. I can imagine they'd be pretty bad. Anyway, I'm still in Thailand. I kind of forget where I'm at because it's, <laughs> every day's kind of the same thing here, right? So, um, Anyway, back to the case in point. Um, I honestly believe the best, cheapest degree that you can get online. Now, this is for American schools. I really don't know um, what the situation is uh, probably in, in, um, in Asian countries or European countries or even South American countries. I'm just talking about um, you know, uh, the United States, right? Um, but OMS CS at the moment, not only is it the... Um, the cheapest degree that, that I've seen for computer science um, from a high quality school, right? But from all the other copycats that are coming out there, it's like, I know um, UT Austin has their own uh, program now. There, there's several other universities that are trying to compete now because they're seeing that it's it's a pretty big market. Um, obviously it's, it's a worldwide market, right? And especially now after the, all, all these lockdowns, I think so many of these universities are feeling more of the pressure, right? It's like, well, we have to have better solutions for doing all the stuff online. And I mean, I'm praying this is gonna be a, you know, a once in a lifetime event, but if, if things like this keep happening where it's like for one reason or, or the other, um, more of us are just gonna have to stay inside the house um, for extended periods of time. It's, I think this is gonna be the only survival for a lot of these universities, right? But um, one thing I just wanted to mention because <laughs> I got a, a, uh, um, a bachelor's degree in a non, um, you know, a, a non-ranking school. And when it comes to ranking, really has to do with how much research that they've done, how many papers that they've published. So a lot of these technical schools, you know, you know um, computer science, even uh, um, different types of media schools are gonna have this. They, it's a good school, right? It's like the education's good. I thought I got a great education. But the problem is, it's not just marketing, it's about how the school ranks, right? If, if your employer looks at anybody can look it up, you know, where, you know, where is your um, university considered in a list of other universities? If they really don't do a lot of research, they're not even going to rank. So on paper, and I didn't know this when I was going, I didn't think that that was that important, right? I was just thinking, well, I'm, I'm going to get a bachelor's degree. Um, thinking it was really going to matter, you know, I, I, after I got out. And it, I mean, I guess I'm still playing the same game, right? It's like how much, I have my own businesses, how much having my own degree, how much is that gonna matter for the kind of work that I'm doing? Other than, you know, getting hired by other people, you know, in little side projects or whatnot, it's like I don't really intend to go for one of these uh, um, jobs, like a big name kind of company. So does it really matter? No, it's, it's more the portfolio. It's more just like for my own personal benefit. But being able to get such a high, uh, um, prestige school like um, a university like, like Georgia Tech. Um, I mean, it's gonna make at least a, a big difference in people's opinion, even when you're talking about what you've done, right? Because I'll, I'll be honest, I had a 4.0 um, uh, when I got my bachelor's and I was really proud of my work. And up to today, it was years ago that I got that degree. Not a single person has recognized where that school was even from, has ever heard of it nothing even people in the in, in the same state even the same city it was like i'm not even going to talk about it now because i'm like why am i going to promote them right <laughs> it's um so that ranking really makes a big deal right so even though you might get accepted in this college and nobody's heard of and it might seem great and you might get the education if what you're trying to do afterwards is just kind of you know show some uh, some street credibility that uh you know you've gone to one of these 
um, universities and, and you pass uh, certain classes, just getting a degree, just a degree, just for a degree's sake from a no-name school. I mean, I get it that some people are even like faking degrees, right? Like they're not even studying at all. Um, I mean, that's a completely separate, separate subject, but I'm just saying as far as getting a degree in, in a, a, in a accredited university, it makes, I mean, it really makes a big difference, right? It's like, there's people that will just bring you into to the interview just because it's like they recognize, you know, that university. So it, it really does make a, a big difference. And then also it's what you study, right? But the thing about it, I've, I've had friends that, that went to Harvard or, or Stanford and they, you know, studied social sciences or, you know, something that's like, I mean, computer, compared to like the hard sciences, it's not in the same, you know, level of prestige, right? It's like, oh, I went to, you know, Stanford. Yeah, and I studied, you know, Spanish or, or Italian or something. It's like, okay. But most people don't even think about what it is they're studying. They're just hearing the Harvard or the Stanford. They're like, wow, that's that's an amazing, you know, education you must have got without, without even looking at, you know, what you studied. Um, Georgia Tech is amazing because you're really getting both. You're getting a really good education. I mean, yes, you have to be very motivated and really work on it yourself, but it, it, it truly is a, a, uh, a great education. You're getting almost the same exact education that you'd be getting if you, you know, were actually going to the physical university, but at a fraction of what it actually would, would cost. So even on semesters where you have to, you know, drop the class and take it over, it's still exponentially cheaper. And then if you're doing uh, um, what I'm doing, where it's like traveling and just being in other countries that, I mean, rent and food, like everything else can even be cheaper. It's like, it's so much cheaper to, uh, to do it this way, right? Which is also why I've been able to, you know, just study, focus on school and work on my side business and not really even have to have a day job. If I would have stayed in the States, my plan was I was gonna go to Georgia Tech and just be around um, the actual physical school while doing the OMS side, right? So kind of, you know, kind of mixing a little bit of both the online and the, uh, the on-campus experience. But at this point, I would already have had to get, you know, get a job, right? It's like, I would have totally blown through, through my savings um, at this point. But here, it's like, I've been able to float around, go to all these different countries, save up in certain areas. There's other, uh, there, there's other costs I just don't have, right? Like, like I don't have a car here, so it's like, in, just in gas, I think I was spending, I can't remember, it was, it was, it was a couple hundred dollars a month just in gas, just driving, you know, to, uh, driving to the campus uh, meetings and, and whatnot. So you end up saving, even on gas, it's like you, you, you can save a lot. But in America, how are you gonna live without a car? There's just no way you're gonna do it. Outside of America, most places have, you know, public transportation and everything else. So even in that sense, if you can do it this way, where you're like traveling around, you're you know still you know having a job or, or working in some kind of online uh, um, business, where you can still be making money as if you're in the states, but you're having the cost of uh, living outside, and then you're doing you know the uh, OMS version of the degree, it can be exponentially cheaper. But again, it depends on where you're at, what you want to be doing, and. You know, is, it's not like one, one size fits all, I get that. But to me, it's been great. I've had a great experience. And uh, for what I've seen, I could be wrong. Uh, definitely leave a, leave a comment if you know of other schools that, are, uh, that would be cheaper. But I have not seen anything at the quality of Georgia Tech for the cost and then uh, everything completely online. I mean, even graduation, if I want to go to, to the university and, and um, you know do the whole ceremony thing, I can. But I don't even have to, you know, go there even for the graduation ceremony. Like the whole thing could vir completely virtually be uh, uh, um, remote like this. So this is this has been amazing. So let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have heard of any other university with, um, you know, with such a high rank, right, as as Georgia Tech, with this quality of education and at this cost. I honestly don't know of all, all uh, any any university that has all three. So this is pretty crazy, but I'm probably gonna be spending much, much less for my, a graduate degree in, in a university like Georgia Tech than just the educational cost of, uh, for my bachelor's. And that was several years ago. And now it's much, much more expensive to even go to that school, even though it's you know a no-name school.
right? So all those things, you know, uh, in consideration, that's, that's why OMS CS has been blowing up the way, the way it has been. But I mean, in all fairness, unless you're studying computer science or now they have the, uh, the um, online masters in science for, uh, for analytics. So unless you're going towards data science or computer science, right. I mean, if, if you're studying other, other, uh, other fields, this isn't really going to help you as much, but I 100% believe that this is going to be the future for a lot, a lot of universities. They'll still be their on campus version, but the fact that you can open this up to the world and then people literally can still get that name recognition of that school, which really does make a difference in, in many areas. You know, I mean, you guys are listening right now just because, you know, I'm saying OMSCS, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's a Georgia Tech degree. It's like, yeah, he's already gone through, you know, half of the program. He must know something. It's like just right there, just the fact that you guys are listening to what, what I'm saying right now, just because I'm putting that title. I could have made 3,000 videos on, on, uh, on my bachelor's degree on that school and I mean, if there's something very specific I would have been talking about, but it wasn't because it was the name, right? It's like here you're actually, you guys are actually paying attention to that keyword. You know, it's the fact that I had OMSES on, uh, on the thumbnail. That's, that's why you guys clicked on it. So that just goes to show you how much recognition this school has. So, so yeah, let me know if you guys know anything cheaper, but I, for what I've seen, I haven't seen anything. So anyway, catch you on the next one.